That's right, that's right, Heather and Anthony. And as you can see, look, this road, we're on Osceola Street here in Riverside. Before, earlier today, when we were out here talking to folks, you couldn't walk down this road. And now, I mean, you can see the ground, you can see pretty much everything now towards the river there. It is still pretty bad. Um, that stop sign, the water was almost at the stop sign there. I spoke to uh, residents and as well as folks who have an office down here and they told me, you know, yes, some of them got water inside their business. Another resident tells me he just kept seeing the water come up and come up and didn't know when it was gonna stop. But again, both very thankful tonight that they're safe and sound. I was ready to throw in the towel and say, okay, I'm going to open the door, let it come in. Mike Raw, who's been living in this Riverside home since 1995, told me this view of his front yard is still shocking. I've always felt sorry for people in this situation, but I really understood what they were going through today. Luckily, he says the water never got inside his home, but it was a different story across the street. This is kind of a, a one in a lifetime uh, flooding experience. Alan Poucher, a local attorney, says he got an inch or two of water inside his law office. Thankfully, he boxed up all important files and documents just in time. That's kind of what lawyers do. They prepare for the worst. <laughs> and he told us the worst could have been a lot worse. We're not as bad hurt as people in Miami. We're uh, very grateful to be alive and healthy. Everyone's family's good, so, uh, you know, there are blessings in it. Even if the blessing means no more rising water. Don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Don't know what's going to happen tonight. But we're mighty thankful today. Again, folks here are just so very thankful that, uh, you know, their homes are okay, that their family is okay, that they're safe. Again, they can get over this standing water. They're just going to have to ride this one out. And I want to kind of show you here across the street from Osceola. There's a tree down and a bunch of street lights here on our way to Riverside are not working. So if you're going to be out and about, just be cautious. Uh, remember to treat those lights as four way stops and keep an eye out for debris on the ground. For now, reporting live in Riverside, I'm Honey Rodriguez. First Coast News on your side.